I'm gonna do how to make a black moor goldfish. This is what it looks like. I'm sorry if the camera goes all wacky, like it, if it looks over here, if it looks at my food, or if it looks at my utensil, or if, it, if it, or if it looks at my leg. I'm sorry. I'm just not good at holding cameras, and it always moves around, as you can see. But soon I'll find out how to get a good camera thing. Hold on. I'm going to get this one. Alright, there we go. What? No. Stay up. Alright, there we go. Alright, so this is my little utensil. Alright. If you want to make, like, little, um, like, little, um, what do you call it? Scales on your fish? Then that you can do, but I don't want to do that. All right, so first, you're going to start out with a big chunk of black Play-Doh. Throw it up into a ball. And you can make this as big or as small as you want. And it doesn't need to be perfect. But if there is some seals on it, or if there is some cracks on it, then seal those. Right. Okay. We're gonna rip off two black pieces and then roll them up into a ball. You know what? I don't need it that big. I don't need it like this much. And roll it up. Then add its eyeball. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some brown play-doh. It needs to be dark brown, like this. You can take just a little bit and put it for the eyeballs onto your little fish, onto your fish eyeballs. If you're watching this, I'm not talking about your eyeballs, I'm talking about the Plato fish's eyeballs pretty obvious because you don't have the size. Maybe you do, but no. Now you might want to take a little bit of teal. No, I'm just going to use green. I'm going to use a dark green. See, dark green. Take just a little bit of that. Just a little bit. A little bit. And you're okay with me putting a little bit of on this Sorry, that's my mom. Might even be smaller than that. Then take it. Oh! You might want to mix it up with the black to make it more dark. Oh, it's teal because it looks more black than green. But it still does look a little bit like green or maybe turquoise or blue. Looks kind of like turquoise. So, use that. Mm, just a little bit. And put it on for the fish's um, pupils. So like these, these little things, it looks like they're, they're eyeballs. All right, now I'm taking a little chunk of black. Take a little bit of black off of your fish. And now roll the fish up until now I'm going to have some sorbet. Good break. Roll it up into a perfect little ball. No little cracks in it. If there's cracks, seal it up. 
and just keep rolling it into a perfect sphere. Seal cracks up. It's okay if it has a little bit of cracks in it. Unless you're like one of those people who wants everything perfect. Now, take a little bit for the fins and make the fins. You're gonna need like two little balls about the same in size for your eyeball and then roll them up and then make them flat. You don't need to make the fins pointed but make them just a little bit pointed and connect them like this. Make them a little bit long. Oh by the way flatten out your body a little bit. Need it to be like that. Let me connect to the eyeballs. Mm. How am I supposed to do this? Um, I need it to be a little bit wet. Put your eyeballs on like this. There you go. That is what it needs to look like. Alright, what now? Oh, right. Connect the fins to your body. The eyeball fell off. I'm sorry. Just in peace, buddy. If you don't know my name, it's Tyree. And my channel may say Dennis, but that's just because it's my grandpa. Some, another one of these back fins, just smaller. Not too much smaller, just a little bit smaller. Now connect it to its belly. So it's a moor goldfish, a black moor. I might have sent Half Moon Beta in the beginning of the episode or of this video. I don't remember. So, um, it's a um, it is a black moor goldfish. Um, I'm gonna use one of my utensils. This is a different one. You haven't seen this one. Maybe you did. Can you put a little bit of cheese on the salad, too? Sure. Put that in the background there, too. Alright, like this. Mm. So this, you're basically done. But there's still a little bit left to it. Take this. Oh, I just forgot to tell you. Make the top fin. Make the top fin like that. And if you want, make a little bit of spikes on it. Like that. Alright, now 
This is the last step. Well, not the last step. You still have a little bit more left, but take little tiny and stay up. Take little tiny balls and shape them like little tiny things. Make them more flat. Then take them and then put them onto your fish. Alright, now take a little skinny thing like that and make a little line for the head. Um, let me look at the front of one of these things. Right, make it look like this, basically. Um, so take some paint. Um, you know what, I'll just use this and I'll take the dried casing off of it. Let's see if I can dig it out with this. Take it out, easy, and make it like this, make it like a little semicircle, and then take black, and then make it into a bigger <coughs> semicircle than the pink one. And then put it on like this. Um, and you're practically done, but don't, don't stop yet. Um, um, If you want, you can make a white belly, and this thing still needs some nostrils. I don't need that. What did I do to the mechanical pencil? Maybe this could work. No. No, I'm just going to need to be careful with this one. So, take it carefully and go between the eyes and make little tiny nostrils. Mine are kind of big, but... You're basically done. Well, actually, you are done, but mm, please follow my channel. Don't leave rude comments, and please subscribe. Thank you. Bye.